Hi there, welcome to Dana's Health Talks. Usually the things that I talk about focus more on physical things, um, but today I want to do something a little different and because the emotional, mental, and spiritual health are just such important components to overall health in general. And sometimes we run into things that really throw us off and uh, throw us off our balance and equilibrium and, and disturb our peace of mind. And when you're not at peace and you're experiencing great distress and stress in general, it can really negatively impact your health. So if you're like me, this is maybe geared more towards people like me who, I'm a people pleaser. I want people to like me. I want people to agree with me. I want people to be happy. I want people to get along. So when someone is really angry at me or upset with me, Sometimes it literally debilitates me to where I can't eat and I can't sleep and it's very stressful and you know how, how do I deal with that and how, how did I, I, I ran into a situation recently that I will touch on that really distressed me and how do I get, get back to that equilibrium, get back to that peace of mind so that I can move on with my life and be happy again. Well one thing that I've really realized and when I accept this, it helps me that everything in life pretty much is controversial. Even things that you think could possibly be not controversial, such as, let's say, carrot juice. You think, how could carrot juice be controversial? Let me tell you, in some circles, it is. So no matter what subject you're dealing with, there's, there's just going to be such an array of opinions and perspectives that you cannot possibly get everybody to see your point of view and agree with you and that might make them mad and you know with that that just means that there's always the potential that people aren't going to like you that people aren't going to agree with you and that you may upset people and step on their toes when you genuinely do not mean to anyways like i said everything is controversial in life pretty much it seems even the subject of fences for example like a fenced in yard i never really thought that could be a controversial topic but i am incorrect on that so we just moved into this house and we've you know we've adopted retired racing greyhounds since 2002 and so We've just always had fences and it's just been a requirement and I just have never thought anything twice. So when we moved into this house, we made sure to buy a property that it was perfectly legal to fence and in the neighborhood there's tons of fences, but it just so happens in that our little pocket, there's not. And so we moved in and we put up this fence, not honestly not thinking that it could upset anybody. and. Let me tell you, neighbors around us have been very upset, some so much so that they won't talk to us. And this was extremely distressing to me, like literally I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep, very upsetting to me. But you know what, what I realized is sometimes you can't control other people's reactions. And sometimes no matter what you do or say, they're gonna be upset with you. I mean, honestly, short of us moving out and pulling up the fence, and taking it with us, there's really nothing that I can do or say to make some of the neighbors happy. And so you just have to realize that you're not going to please everybody. And what I had to say to myself is, Dana, pull up your big girl pants and suck it up and deal with it because that is just life. That is just life. So what you just need to do is be loving, be kind, be honest, be truthful, be, um, you know, do what you need to do for yourself and your family, not step, you know, not purposely hurting other people, obviously not breaking the law or anything like that. And, and also apologize when you need to apologize and explain things when you feel like they need explaining. I know some people say, you don't need to explain yourself. You didn't do anything wrong. But I kind of believe that sometimes when you explain yourself to others, you explain your perspective, it helps un other people understand you a little better and I think it can bring peace in some circumstances and in some circumstances it can't. So just be the best person that you can be and try to just maintain your peace of mind because there's going to be conflict and there's going to be things going wrong all around you at certain times, but peace is so important to your health. 
So just, you know, always do the best that you can do, be the best that you can be, take as good of care as yourself as you can, and thanks for watching, and until next time, have a great day.